self-explanatory. I, I hate babysitting. Another good title would have been... Where's the... Where's the, uh... <coughs> Where is the remote? Yeah, we has tea! I got water. It's hot. I mean, how, how hot is it? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? The current temperature outside is... Uh, 107 degrees. Yeah, burns. Hello, Charlotte. Squamp, bam, bam, and bam, wow. So, when we last left off, uh, Charlotte was, uh, having a bit of an existential crisis. As her charge was horribly murdered. But then she just changed the channel and everything was fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Anyways, let's hop back into it. Twelve saves, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I actually... Translated this. And the translation was, You are kind. Therefore, you shall pass. The door opens. So I guess we couldn't come in here beforehand without doing stuff? Is that a black hole? Oh, you know what? Seems like the passage opens when something heavy is standing on the block. Uh, should I play Yuma Nikki? I, I don't know if I want to play Yuma Nikki on stream still. You're saying that one of us has to stay here and the other one will search for the way out. That's right. We shouldn't get separated. We can look for another way out. It, it is giving me a Yumi Nikki vibe. We're not gonna put anybody inside the. Hey, that's a black door. Okay. So there's nothing else here. Um. Need mortar and pestle. Okay. <laughs> you are irrational. Be careful on your way. Take this just in case. Will do. We. Oh God! Although I'm afraid Seth will make me throw them out at the first opportunity. I'll be back soon. See you later. Okay, now here's the question. If I were to stream a Yume game, would it be Yume Nikki or Dot Flow? Both of which I know to an extent, depending on the version. Jesus Christ. What the hell? I don't think Mirai Nikki had a visual novel. Although I'd happily play it if it did. Actually, do me some research, would you please? Find out- oh Jesus Christ. Hup. Hum -na ha Is that an exit? There is no exit, there's no way out! Oh shit, does it have an English translation? And do we get hype? Is he dead? He's not dead. Where's the exit? Uh... Want me to voice the lunatic? Oh, That was, that was disappointing of me. Past me is incredibly disappointed. That's right. <sighs> Where 
would an exit be? I'm guessing corner. Ah, god damn it. Oy me. Have I forgotten how to do chasers? Actually, I wonder what happens if we let him go. There's the TV. But how do I get to it? game. Oh, oh, oh. So you flip it over. Maybe. Yeah, buddy. Oh, God. It's the dimension of doors. I am playing Yumi Nikki. for this. Oh, shit. Is one of these doors not like the others? Yeah, that one. No. I feel like I'm wasting time here. I wonder if Felix is alright. I left him all alone. I'm worried, too. As expected from Seth the Worry Ward. <coughs> Let's hurry back to his side. Sure thing. Oh yeah, that's right, you have, uh... Visual things now, huh? Emotes. Which one of these doors is it? I mean, this is the way we came in. You know what? He's probably dead. Oh god. Hold on, let me see what that one looks like. Dear lord. What... What horror hath... Hath I brought upon you? Oh. No. This is... This is dot flow. There's... There's no way I'm not playing dot flow right now. Oh, God, why am I so shit? Aww. Actually, I wonder if we just needed to trigger that. There we go. I uh, know this isn't part of your job, but you do it nevertheless. Thank you, Seth. It's my pleasure. Stop calling me Seth. Don't call me Shirley. Okay. So, he's gotta be dead, right? Like, the chasers went into that room and fucked his shit up. the wrong way. And this guy's camping this exit like a bastard. Felix isn't here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where is... Oh, Jesus Christ! The door is half open. Open the door. Son of a bitch! Bitch! 
Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. I've always wondered what rabbits have inside their bellies. I am this surprised. It wasn't cotton. I was too late. The girl approaches me, leaving the boy like a toy she lost interest in. Why, hello, dear guest. The girl touches my cheek with her blood-soaked hand. Why are you so sad? Does it hurt anywhere? Come here, I'll sing you a get better song. Pain, pain, go away. Don't come back the other day. Oh, Felix. I sleep without him or my dead body. Stop out of it! He's not even a person! What are you saying? Oh, I get it. We just have to switch the channel to make everything right. Hey! Who are you talking to? There's no one but me. The very next moment, the girl looks at me as if she's seeing me for the first time. Let's play hide and seek. I'll close my eyes and count to 60. Make sure you find a good place to hide. Or else... You're it! One, two... Motherfucker! There's the door. Wasting precious time! There is no fucking way. Son of a bitch! <laughs> place to hide. Where are you? <gasps> I don't want to be cut alive. Please, please kill me before she does, Seth. I'm begging you. Are you out of your mind? Can't you see? It's a bad end for me. Unless you rewind time, I'm dead one way or another. I still have the sealer scissors Felix gave me. You know what to do, right? Oh no! Oh no! I have to do it! <laughs> scissors. Best choice for running in hallways. Charlotte uses scissors on herself. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Found you. Uh oh. Umbrella man! Afternoon tea time! Stream, pull yourself together. The meat is ho not yet rotten, but the body is hollow. Yet another unsightly death. This is no good. Not only have you led the girl to a wrong path, you've completely lost control of her actions and been manipulated by her. I cannot congratulate you on such an embarrassment of an ending. I'm deeply sorry for my inappropriate behavior as a puppeteer. I hereby request you grant me another chance. That's quite a bold request, dear boy. Well, granted, however, death can be rather amusing. Try as many times as you'd like. Ah. <sighs> Okay. I want to try something out now. Let me hit that. Somehow I feel like I've been here before. But one of us goes to check what's ahead. That might be dangerous. I'll be here. You're not going alone, of course. My puppeteer will ensure your well-being, right? I knew you'd understand. Just be careful. Take these just in case. Will do. See you later. So now she's dead, right? The jukes are alive! Rip. Come on. Thank you. Tick, tick, 
toe game. Zips up. What a, wait a moment. Oh, let's check on Charlotte. All right. Son of a bitch, run! Oh shit. Hello there. Isn't it dangerous for a little girl to wander around here all alone? I'm waiting for my friends to come back to my side. Is that so? Well, it's a pity they won't make it back before you meet your death in ten minutes. That'd be bad. Seth will get fired if I die without him by my side. Is that all there is to it? I don't want to cause anyone trouble. Well, well, aren't you a nice child? But Felix, will he be okay? I'm afraid he'll die shortly after. There is one way to save your friend, however. The masked man whispers something to Charlotte. Is that okay? Got it. Even though you disagree with my methods. It's the only way to save him, right? I'm too weak to do anything alone. The man pets Charlotte's head. Don't blame yourself for a single thing, child. Well then. Ten minutes, huh? Para 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 ta 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 Well, I guess you are right. I'm only wasting hot time here. Got me back, please. Sure, just a moment. The human body is such a fragile thing. Oh my god, I'm fucking possessed! Son of a bitch! I can't just apologize if I accidentally break it, can I? Well then, what do we have here? Hmm, all this junk is no good. Scissors? Not bad, but not the best option either. Such a shame we'll get this pretty dress dirty. Hi! Do you want to play hide-and-seek with me and my friends? You see, I'm really bored. That's right, let's play a game. Boredom's the worst, isn't it? <laughs> Open your eyes, here come the scissors! Ooh! 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 Who is this person? What was I? I, I? I just have to switch the channel to make everything all right. Right? Hey. Don't make me a murderer. Retreat! Retreat! Fall back! You bastard! You're the final boss! Charlotte isn't here. There's no body! Oh no. Oh, oh! Charlotte? Felix, Seth, here you are. Good thing you're safe and sound. Are you hurt anywhere? And what in the world are you stuffing into the incinerator? Oh, the blood isn't mine. While you were away, I figured I'd stuff the meat chunks we saw in earlier in here. Is that so? Are you alright? Yeah, sorry for worrying you. Jeez, I was worried about you, but here you are, covered in blood and more obnoxiously cheerful than ever. Well, sorry about that. Wait, you were worried about me? That's something new. 
You make it sound like I'm a jerk. Well, thank you for trusting me, Seth. You are truly my friend. I'm a puppeteer, not a friend! Yeah, yeah, I got it. And you're the best puppeteer ever. Let's go, everyone. Instruction. Put a friend unit, one piece, into the incinerator and push the on button. Let's leave this room. But I want to press the button. I want a burner. It's open. Hmm. Charlotte. Hey, are you, real are you really alright? You're spacing out. It's nothing. Liar. Fine, you don't have to tell me what happened. Here, take my hand. She's shaking. Let's go in. Right. To the other TV! I don't know, things seem alright so far. Oh shit, there's only 16 save files! Son of a bitch! Let's see. Is it that TV now? Yeah, it has to be. Hey, Felix. Yes? Can you tell me more about what we're looking for? I know I'm not as smart as you, but I'll try to understand. Well, all I know is that the people here are called Pythias, who were created by an oracle, whom they call their god. At least, used to. Pythias are extremely powerful. They can alter reality to their will, which most likely resulted in different dimensions being created. From what I gathered, every species perceived them differently, otherwise they wouldn't look so, uh... So human? Right, to you. The last time I visited, there were much more of them, yet we barely, we barely met anyone on our way. This place is a mess. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Perhaps something bad happened. Contamination warning! Organic tissue ahead! Oh no! Great, a dead Pythia. Poor thing. <laughs> dead bodies, ladies and gentlemen! Wowzers! They all look the same. They'd probably look the same to them as well, you know. There are so many of them. Slaughterhouse 2, Slaughterhouse 1. Where's Slaughterhouse 5? Oh dear. Ways to find out if your neighbor is possessed by God. 1. Shoot him and see what happens. <laughs> Enjoy the vacation with style. Bosa! It's always here when you need it the most. Comes with two blades. Cool. We're not taking that. A weapon would come in handy, though. Not when you don't know how to use it. Kids these days. I can almost hear you sighing from the other side of the control console. She is us. We are her. Okay. Whatever you say. There's so many of them. Dead. Slaughterhouse 3. I wonder what happened here. There's no one in these rooms. Only the corpses. Another dead body. You ever get the feeling that you're being... Chased by some sort of otherworldly entity. Maybe she's just sleeping? I am now in the- you are me, except after C! Oh, hey, wait! We skipped over Slaughterhouse 5, you cheeky bastards! HOLY SHIT! <laughs> what the fuck was that?! WHAT DID WE GET HIT WITH?! Like, 
turning it on crack! That's bait. Hey, Slaughterhouse 5. The door won't open. Okay. Shit, we need some sort of passcode. The second. The fourth. The first. Four. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Hmm. Oh my damn, what does that sound? Hmm. I think somebody's throwing metal. I'm back and it looks like a three. Uh, what you thinking, kid? Because I'm thinking it's either three, because it looks like a three. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Or it's six, because that's the number of eyes. So we'll try three or six. And, no, six in the third position. Damn. It's... Seems limey, though. Get one today for free! Executioner mask! Put the cute into execute! An absolute must have for all ladies and gentlemen! How'd you get an 8 out of that though? How do I look? Rather menacing. Alright, so where do they see 8? Oh dear lord, we're not we're not guessing that. Chill. Cut off the pain with amputation saw! Made of the highest quality steel! Who said a girl's best friend was diamonds? There's a stack of notes on the table. Oh, sweet. No lollygagging about, we just skipped straight to the password. How'd you figure that? Obtained a note. 
dead. It was one, two, five. No, it was one, two. One, two, three, five, four. Uh, let me find out actually. I'm just, I'm curious now. Because this is six. So it's one, two, three, six, five, four. Christmas morning, you'll be happy with a shotgun! Everyone is born to execute! An all family adventure, God Hunt! Television room, door is locked. Buy our air powered guns for an unforgettable fun experience! Weissman gun! Barrels of fun! When you can't sleep, don't count sheep! Count on your chainsaw! Actually, let's find out what's in this room, if anything. Oh, huh. So we literally killed a god! So that's how they portray oracles here. She's... she's beautiful. Just for your information, oracles do not have a physical form nor gender. The one depicted here is no more than a young Pythian priestess. Okay, good. We only killed the cultist. Everything's fine. Fight for equality! There's a save point here. That's a bad sign. I think I heard something behind the door. I hope it's not executioners. Right now, we are the executioners, remember? One of the dismembered bodies is moving! She's still alive! Well, well, hello, dear. Executioners? You're, you're so tiny, yet you're the ones who came to end the life of our last child? How ironic. Come forth and swing your blade. Don't make us wait any longer. I'm very sorry, but we won't harm you in any way. You won't? How come? Well, for starters, we are not one of your kind. We take off our masks! The girl extends her weak hand to my face. Just too wise. You are merely a traveler. Am I missing something? Hush! We are speaking to a real, real oracle, the creator of all that exists in this universe. This body is just a dying vessel. It, it, it's an honor to meet you. You seem to be a good child. We believe we have known your parent once. <laughs> the girl coughs up blood. We should leave these lands, for we do not have much time left. What about this girl? She can no longer be saved. But we, we wish to be with our children until the very end. But there are only corpses. We should leave, Charlotte. Right. Will we meet again? Seek and you shall find. Oh! She did. Well, that's technically the death of a god, right? Oh shit, what are you doing? No, put on your masks! You idiots! Maybe 
become an executioner today. Sign up for the God Hunt by calling us. Feeling oppressed? Your life is a wreck. You did nothing wrong. Get your revenge by joining the God Hunt today. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, it is. Hey look, the last TV. Somehow I have a feeling it'll be the last channel we'll visit. Well, it might not be far from the truth. Well then, let's go! Hmm. I feel like I have to apologize. For what? Many things. Running away, putting you in danger, making you come here. I found what I was looking for, yet I feel no satisfaction at all. I didn't have the slightest idea of what happened in this place. I still don't. I thought Uncle would recognize my achievements if I wrote a paper on the Oracles, a phenomenal entity. Yet this Oracle and their universe reek of death was twenty billion years too late. You must be thinking how meaningly, meaningless this journey was. Feel free to laugh at me. Hug! <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Please stop blaming yourself. Isn't everything in our life pretty much me? <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck? We just went full existential crisis! We're so tiny, aren't we? Like worms or maggots, even. Yet we consider ourselves important and do everything to benefit ourselves. Isn't that what's laughable? Besides, I like going on adventures with you. For me, it's like being with a friend. What's up with that pseudo-intellectual monologue? Don't try to seem smarter than you are, human maggot. Aren't we already friends? If you if you say so. <clears throat> what are we waiting for? Let's go in. Holy shit, it's God! Applause, applause. Welcome, welcome, dear guests. We were waiting for you. Now we can finally have a talk. Well then, did you enjoy the show? Was it not to your liking? The show? Well, of course! All of the worlds you visited! There used to be an infinite number of channels, you know. Now they've turned into mere recordings of their past glory. If I may ask, what happened to this world? Many, many things. A long time ago, we used to be called a god, although we never were one. Our own children raised a knife against us. We used to have a thousand hands, yet they've cut off all of them. And now we are powerless. We used to observe the world with billions of eyes, and yet they gouged out every single one. And now we are blind. We used to walk in leaps and bounds through the worlds we'd created. Yet, we can no longer take a single step as our legs were taken away. The creations we dearly loved, regardless of their deeds, destroyed themselves, and now, we are alone. Yet we forgave them for their sin, and we forgive you. You see, the universe we have created is dying. Nothing exists anymore. All we can do now is indulge in the memories of the past, no matter how distorted they are. Soon we will fall apart, and so will this land and those walking on it. That would be troubling. We absolutely have to return home by tomorrow morning. Well, there is a way, human child. Do you wish to try? Sure, God! Uh -oh. What do I have to do? Put your hand on the screen, would you? Are you sure about this? Well, there's no other way we can leave. Didn't you hear the oracle? <laughs> you would not have listened to me either way, would you? Even though I don't want to cause trouble for anyone, in the end I'm quite the troublesome person, aren't I? I put my hands on the screen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh no! The Oracle. Oh, the god of this world puts their palms to match mine on the other side of the screen. I can only vaguely remember what happened next. I accepted the god into my heart and we walked home hand in hand. Everything that I was became her, and everything that she was became part of me. Together we said goodnight to the dying world. All the life, all the planets, the stars, the black holes, even the atoms have ceased to exist. One by one the channels switched off. The Oracle used, up, used my body as a vessel and used up all the remaining power she had to bring us home. Thanks to that, we were able to make it back home safely. While we were away, not a second passed in our world. That was quite, the sto quite a story, my dear. To personally meet an Oracle, even a dying one, what great luck you've run into. Well, who would have known? Do you always have to wear this creepy mask when you see me? I know you're using Father's body as a container to talk to me anyway. Holy shit! The fucking... That's her dead dad! Easy with the tongue, dear. I thought it would be inconsiderate of me to have a chat with you while using someone you know as a vessel. But if you insist... The Umbrella Man takes off his mask. Better now. Yep, much better. Your eyes have such a pretty color. Say, Umbrella Man. Do you happen to know who the person I met in the TV world? Why are you so sure there was anyone there at all? Well, that's because... I committed an unimaginable sin, yet I only vaguely remember it, as if I watched it from the side. Your naivete never ceases to amuse me. Of course we had to edit your source code shortly after you came back. I can't tell the truth, can I? You're talking as if we're in a video game. Most of the worlds are code-based, my dear. As you say. But why would you do that? Those memori memories were unnecessary. Remember, we do not want you to fail your education program. It's already messed up enough with an oracle becoming part of you. I am sure Mr. Seth will greatly ups be greatly upset if you two go, go around causing havoc when he isn't looking. We both know I'm not like that, sir. <clears throat> By the way, I am rather surprised you were able to contain a godlike entity without all of your life supporting systems collapsing. Probably she was too weakened to do mu that much damage to my body? Hmm. What has become of them now? She's still sleeping. I wish we had talked more. Even after seeing her memories, I still don't know much about her. The Oracles. What exactly are they, really? One could compare them to stars, reaching the end of their lives. They gradually lose all their power and become infantile white dwarves. Think for yourself, what would a god capable of creating new life from zero care for such insignificant beings like you? Aren't you talking to me right now? Ha <laughs> ha, good one. Well, isn't that great that you've met a new friend? Now take your pills and go to sleep want you to nod off in your lessons, although they only postpone your unemployment status. Thanks for finding an hour to spend with me. Good night, Mr. Umbrella Man. Good night, little Charlotte. We got pills! I'm off to sleep, then. Sleep well. I like how I can't go into the doorway on the TV. Like, it just won't let me. Gotta take the pills first. Abilify? Okay. Took the pills. Everything looks normal! What the fuck?!
Hi, Meg Cat. Meow. What the fuck, Larson? I wonder if I'll see space fish in my dreams. Good night, Charlotte. I hug my rabbit toy. Good night, Felix. Good night, Umbrella Man and Oracle. Good night, Guardian Angel who watches over me. Hello, Charlotte! Episode 1, Junk Food Gods and Teddy Bears! End. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed playing this game as much as I enjoyed making it. See you next time in Episode 2. Well, shit. That ended a lot faster than I thought it would. Do we play the next one?